Uh, hello friends, uh, today I'm going to teach you what is quantum tunneling. Uh, tunneling is a quantum phenomenon which occurs when particles move through a barrier that should be impossible to move through according to classical physics. Uh, the barrier can be physically impassable medium, uh, something like an insulator or a vacuum, or it can be a region of very high potential energy. Now let us see what happens in typical classical physics. Imagine we have a particle. Now this is moving towards a barrier. This block is a barrier. Uh, this particle doesn't, if it doesn't have sufficient energy to pass through this barrier, it will naturally rebound back. Now this is an electron and the electron is repelled if the energy of the electron is below the power, below the energy of the field. So this is what happens in classical physics. That is the, let me show you, that if the electron has no sufficient energy, it does not have sufficient energy, it rebounds back and cannot penetrate, it cannot penetrate the barrier. Uh, now I am going to show you what happens in quantum mechanics, the quantum mechanical model. In the quantum mechanical model, uh, you can see that the electron is considered like a wave function. So this wave is going towards this barrier. On encountering this barrier, the quantum wave will not end abruptly. Its amplitude will increase exponentially. This drop in amplitude corresponds to a drop in probability of finding a particle as you look further into the barrier. If the barrier is thin enough, the amplitude may not be zero and you'll end up getting a finite probability of this wave function actually passing through this barrier. So this red part which I've shown here, this is the finite probability. Now the, the finally, as this keeps on increasing, this wave function will pass through this barrier. This is the quantum mechanical model. So let's imagine that we have a hill like this, okay, and that we need to take a stone and it has to pass through this hill. So in classical mechanics, uh, if the stone doesn't have sufficient energy to pass through this, it comes back, it rolls back. But in the quantum tunneling, what happens is if it is treated like a wave function, it, this particle actually tunnels through this and still reaches the side. So this way of co passing through the barrier, this is called as a quantum tunneling. Now this may sound like fiction. It, it sounds like science fiction. However, many of the uh, phenomenon like nuclear fusion, the many chemical reactions and uh, in fact the fate of the universe is all based on this quantum tunneling effect. So quantum mechanically, uh, in quantum mechanic effect, the particles have a finite energy, a finite probability of crossing an energy barrier due to the wave-like aspect of the particle. Uh, quantum tunneling is real. Uh, it can be observed. Uh, equation of quantum mechanics, of quantum particles, is given by the Schrodinger's equation. And most of the solutions of the Schrodinger's equation is a complex number. It comes in the form of e to the power of i a x. The maths we use 
to understand quantum tunneling involves connecting oscillating trigonometric functions that is the sine function and the exponent function e to the power x functions and the y is equal to sin x functions these are connected uh, via imaginary numbers uh, by the classic connection that e to the power of i x is equal to cos x plus i sin x uh, this is a complex equation a com uh, and Schrodinger's equation is connected with this uh, but we need to understand that these situations are real situations but whether controlled fusion will ever work of course that remains to be seen but yes uh, there is a lot of truth even the simple transistor is based on quantum tunneling uh, thank you for watching uh, we try to explain it in a very simple way quantum tunneling